For this video, we're going to go over how to install the laser tube on your 80 watt and 100 watt red and black Ohmtech laser. Now, when you first uncrate your laser, you'll have a long box that is holding your laser tube and on the outside of that box is going to be a little white ceramic cap. It's taped to the outside. Make sure you do not throw that away because you're going to be using that here in a minute. So we're now back at the rear of the laser and I'm going to go ahead and open mine up. Now my laser tube is already installed so I'm going to walk you through it but it should be no problem uh, to do it yourself. Now I want to point out a couple identifying features. You'll notice that there is one bracket you got two brackets. Okay, go ahead and open those up. You'll also have your black wires and your red wires. And then you'll have a short water line and you'll have a long water line. You'll also notice that it probably came with this extension box. Okay, do not install this extension box until, uh, until the last step. So once you got your brackets open, Go ahead and place your laser tube in position. One of the things you might notice is this sticker says this side up and this sticker where it says bracket position. You notice that these don't line up and that's okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to position the laser tube so that the tip of the laser is about a half an inch away from the mirror frame. All right. You might also notice it says this side up. It doesn't have to be directly up especially with how mine is where the tube right here hits the frame. Don't, you don't want that sitting on there. So just go ahead and cant it a little bit where it's off to the side and you'll be just fine. So once it's in position, go ahead and put the clamps back on and try to tighten them. It can be kind of a pain because it's kind of tight, but um, you'll notice that mine's loose, but it's snug. So it's snug enough to where the tube is not moving. You don't need to have it over over tightened all right just snug enough to where the laser won't move and that's on both sides so once you get those in position go ahead and start with your water lines all right you have your short water line and you have your long water line your short water line obviously goes in the front your long water line will go in the back now I recommend you not doing what I did I haven't had a chance to drain my water lines and reposition this but run this to the back side so it doesn't overhang like mine does all right another recommendation that i would have is to get some spring clamps or some zip ties like i said i haven't had a chance to drain my lines and add them but you can get these at home depot or lowe's i'll leave a link in the description box below but you want some spring clamps to ensure that these don't pop off okay you'll put them on this one and you'll put them on the one down there now there's only one spot you can add the water lines so there's no way you're gonna get it wrong now once you have the water line set up we're gonna go ahead and start with the wiring you have the two black wires you got black goes to black now there's several opinions on how to do this you can solder them together I just did a, an electrical cap and it's been working just fine all right, next thing you want to do is the red wires. All right, this is where I said you ha there's, um, this is where you're going to want to save the white ceramic cap because there is some formalities about it. All right, again, you're going to have difference of opinions, but this is how Ohmtech suggests that you do it. All right, so you're going to have the white ceramic cap. You're going to grab this white tube out of your blue tool bag. This is slow drying silicone. All right, it's going to be really goopy and messy, so be careful with it. You're going to fill the white ceramic cap on the end. You're going to fill it with silicone. Okay, you're going to take your red wires, you're going to twist them together. You're going to shove them into the white ceramic cap as far as it will go. It will be really snug, so make sure you work it in there. Some of the silicone might squeeze out. That's fine. All right, what I did, obviously, is I glued it right to my tube. You want it out of the way of the frame because 
if for whatever reason that you don't cover it, it's going to start arcing onto the frame. So you want it out of the way. Um, once you have it in there, you could just really just put the silicone on the end and be just fine. I went ahead and just smothered the whole thing. All right. And then I just taped it to the front or to the tube and then I cleaned up the mess. Now this is slow drying silicone so it's going to take around six hours for it to dry. So I don't suggest firing the laser until it's fully cured. All right. Um, but really that's all there is to it. So after you have that, um, you can tape the wires out of the way um, or just kind of leave it. So the last step that you would do is simply install your tube extension box over your laser tube. And you have a total of four screws with two on each side. And once you get that installed, that's really all there is to it. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment in the box below. And as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe.